All right, bruh fans. Now, sorry for the quality. Um, I don't imagine that they'll drop a HD quality version of the trailer until maybe a couple weeks from now. Season four, according to the trailer you just saw, will drop on April 11th. So, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, about five weeks from now. But someone saw a promo on their television somehow. I don't watch BET Live outside of when I watch Sisters Live and that's it. So, I don't really catch, you know, these kind of promos. Um, so... I did manage to write down the dialogue. So in case you were unable to hear what was in the trailer itself, I had to turn my television up to 45, but I did, I did get it. I did get it. So I wrote it down. I got the scenes once upon a time ago. I know I did a video going over all the new characters introduced in season four via actorsaccess.com. Make sure you check my bruh playlist. Will I review season four in its entirety? Well, um, hmm, kind of like the old season five. I will do several episodes, and if the views are good, then I will continue to do it. You, you know how this works. The more views, the more ad revenue, meaning that I'm enticed to review it. Because I can't waste time on a show that nobody watches my reviews for. And look, all I'm saying is this. For over a year, which if I'm not mistaken, bruh, has been gone for that long. For over a year, fans have been like, where is season four? Where is season four? Where is season... If a third of the people who have bombarded me with DMs and tweets and comments for over the past year tune into my reviews, I won't be all right. The, the reviews might even rival sisters because all the people that clamor for a new season, we're about to get it after a long ass hiatus. So support the freaking show and support my channel by watching my reviews. So there you go. Um, I did a video as well because initially wasn't the show supposed to come back like February 29th. According to Google, they had two episode titles and I think two episodes synopsis as well. But for whatever reason, they decided to push it back. I'm okay with that because of the fact that, like I said, going into 2024, look, we got Sisters in the Ovals without a hiatus. Tyler Perry has a lot of content coming out. Spread it out. There's no need of having everything airing at once. And then when things go on a hiatus, we got to go through a dry spell. There is more than enough Tyler content to sprinkle out, you know, um, sprinkle throughout the year of 2024. And I know this is a lengthy intro, but the trailer really isn't that long. So, yeah, we'll get into it. Uh, plus, this is, what, 30 seconds? I don't know if they will do an extended trailer that is, um, like, 60 seconds to 90 seconds long. If they do, I will do a follow-up. But, yeah, here we go. So, it looks like the guys are getting ready for just a night out. We got John. We got... Oh, wow. Oh, Okay. It's been a while. Okay. John, Greg, Bill, Tom, Mike, Pam, Regina, Darla, Alice. I forgot the name of Regina's mom, but she's not in the trailer. So, okay. I think I got everybody. All right. So, yeah. Uh, we got John, Bill, and Tom. They're in, uh, you know, their respective restrooms at their homes getting ready for a night out. You know, a boys' night. They probably haven't done it in a while. Not to mention, I have no idea if we're going to have some sort of time jump between seasons, which I do believe we will based on the fact that we see Mike later in the trailer. And if you remember how things left off in season three, yeah, there's definitely a time skip. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was looking forward to season four because if I remember correctly, season four has new writers. And if season four of Bruh has that quality boost in terms of writing, like Sister Season 7 did. Yeah, I remember hyping it up. I'm like, yo, Season 3, I did not care for... Look, I did an expansive video going into Season 3. If I remember um, the title, like, how bad was Season 3 actually? And that was like an hour long because Season 3 was bad. But if Season 4... Hell, maybe I'll review the show even if I don't get a lot of views because I will enjoy the quality boost. Okay, anyway. So yeah, um, I talked about how the show getting new writers could 
add in a breath of fresh air. So this could actually do the trick. Not to mention the fact that Monty is playing Rich on Sisters, but now he's back as Bill on Bruh. Out of sheer confusion, people might watch Bruh to its benefit because of Sisters. Okay. Now we go over to... Oh yeah, John, he's in the bathroom getting ready. And of course, Miss Alice barges in on him. Ah, oh, you trifling. So... We go over to the guys just hanging out laughing and we go over to the hospital. I believe Tom is telling Greg that Dr. Walker is offering him like the chief doctor position and Greg, you know, congratulates him for it. So I remember doing a video about this Dr. Walker and the fact that Tom is hesitant to take the position for whatever reason. Like I said, I did that video such a long time ago. It, it Check the playlist. It's, it's, it's there. It, it's there. We have Bill. Oh, man. Bill, Bill, Bill. Look, I'm tired. The marriage life isn't for me. It's over. And then Regina goes, I'm pregnant. And I'm just sitting here like, Lord have mercy. If she's really pregnant, because remember, she told Pam, uh, this marriage to Bill is her form of revenge because he ruined her wedding to Peter in season one. Yeah, 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 that's right. So the irony is Monty's playing a character in Sisters that doesn't want kids. And now he's back to playing Bill, who's in a marriage he wants to get out of. But now he might be stuck because his wife is pregnant. Now, again, Regina could be lying, but I don't know. But here's the thing, though. I've had enough of the phrases, baby daddy, DNA test, baby mama, Karen and sisters that wore me the hell out. Now I got to deal with this again, but I doubt Regina has been cheating. So hopefully this won't be a situation where I got to deal with saying that phrase over and over again. But Lord, for Bill's sake, I hope Regina isn't pregnant, but I don't know. Speaking of Regina, it looks like she's at a... Um, restaurant with Pam and Pam says I was so sure I'd be Mrs. Michael Alexander now that isn't so clear and ironically enough we see Mike um at the sandwich shop with John and he's showing off the engagement ring and John's like damn so Mike looks clean it looks like he did get out of the rehab program and he's doing good um but my question is how the hell did he afford that ring considering he was damn near broke when um he got, you know, found out by his boys and Pam for having a, an addiction? Because if I remember correctly, she came into his apartment or loft and then saw that the mailbox was overflowing with a bunch of like late notices for like his rent. And uh, I think his job kind of, you know, suspended him and things like that. So. I, I guess he got back on his feet, and I'm and I'm glad to see it. You know what? Even if Pam says no to the engagement, one, I hope he doesn't relapse out of depression. But regardless, I'm glad to see Mike could be getting back on his feet soon. So congrats to Mike. And then from there, we got Darla talking to Greg, saying, I need to be respected. If you can't do that, we can't do this. I kind of forgot where these two left off in season three. I just know that Darla was really standoffish. She hit Greg a couple of times for that one nurse that Tom went out with that got drunk. And then she kept shoving Greg and then Greg slapped her. And then Darla came in there and then shoved Greg. And I don't know. I just remember Pam even called out Darla for being like very jealous and having mood swings. So the fact that Greg is still trying to date her. Good luck, man. Just good luck. But that's about it. So. That is the 30-second trailer breakdown for Bruh Season 4. Uh, as soon as we get like a better quality version, I will look at it. And if I missed any key dialogue or scenes, I'll be sure to do a follow-up video. But like I said, I'm pretty sure I got everything. So let me know if you're excited for Season 4. As I mentioned, make sure you watch my videos. I will review. I don't know how many episodes we get per week. I think the first week we'll get to. Honestly, we should get two episodes per week. I mean, if Zatima's doing it and I think the other shows like 
Ruthless and All the Queens and Men are two episodes a week. No, I think it's only one. But yeah, Bruh is different. Br yeah, Zatima and Bruh are both in that same bracket of like 20 to 30 minutes long. Give us two episodes a week. The one episode a week thing just isn't going to work. However, if these new writers are doing like a bang up job with like, they do want sisters. Now, I don't think the same writing team for sisters is the same team for bruh, but I'll say this. If the bruh quality is boosted and each episode is just great, then yeah, give us one a week. But I personally think two is the way to go. But hey, guess what? I don't work for BET Plus, but as the only person on this damn platform that reviews the show, you might want to take my advice for what it's worth. So with that being said, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.